Welcome this Christmas Eve, Friday the 24th of December, the last Advent Reflection. I am Janet Foster and today's passage will be from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2, 6 to 7. An opening prayer. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, merciful and gentle. To you be praise and glory for ever. Your light has shone in our darkened world through the child-bearing of Mary. Grant that we who have seen your glory may daily be renewed in your image and be prepared like her for the coming of your Son, who is the Lord and Saviour of all. The reading from Isaiah The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and for ever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. In our reflection, the words of the prophet held out hope for his generation. God was not abandoning his people to invasion and disaster, but was promising that in spite of the prospect of war, there was a glorious future ahead. And on the eve of the birth of Jesus, the nation also felt the oppression of the world, conflict and the despair it brings. Into the world Jesus came, claiming to be the Messiah of Israel, this wonder king. But his first coming was to lay the foundation of the glory that would follow. That is, his death on the cross would reconcile people to God, bringing them into eternal peace with God through the forgiveness of sins. And so now, as we look forward to his coming again, the words of Isaiah hold out hope for us too. Wars and conflicts abound. Despair and depression accompany the fear of danger and aggression. But the word of God is clear. There is coming a time of complete and lasting peace with the coming of Messiah. There is hope. We who know the Lord by faith need not despair as those without hope. But what then are we to do while we wait for this King? First, it is our task to carry on the ministry that Isaiah had, to announce to the world the only hope, Jesus the Messiah. Our primary concern is that people find eternal peace with God. We are the ambassadors for this King, calling others to be reconciled with God. And what goes along with this? Our lives must be free from sin, so that we may present to others the hope of righteousness. Our efforts must be to declare to the world that the hope of peace rests with Jesus Christ. And our promotion of causes of peace and righteousness must be consistent with this message in our families, our communities and our world. Secondly, this passage instructs us about the resources available to us even now from our King. We know that Jesus is the wonderful counsellor, so we may obtain obstruct instruction and guidance for our lives from him and his word. He is the mighty God for all power given to him, so we may trust him to accomplish great things in and through us. He is the everlasting Father, so we may take comfort in the stability that knowing our sovereign Lord reigns brings. And he is our Prince of Peace, 
so we may rest in him, knowing that because of Jesus Christ, all is well between us and God. In short, these descriptions of our Lord Jesus Christ are calls to greater prayer, greater confidence and greater service. Let us pray. Almighty God, as we prepare with joy to celebrate the gift of the Christ child, embrace the earth with your glory and be for us a living hope in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. We thank you for joining us in these Advent Reflections and wish you a happy and peaceful Christmas. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>